So you have yourself a Baofeng UV5R ham radio, widely known as the world's most technologically advanced and best engineered radio on the market, but you lack the training and licensing to do anything on it without going to jail. Don't worry, because there are a few things that you can do on the Baofeng UV5R. Perfectly legal, no license required. I'm going to show you these things. If you do these things, nobody can complain. Nobody can complain if you do these things. I'll keep this video short and to the point. I won't stray off topic because I know your time is valuable. I know you've got a lot of important things to do. Why else would you be sitting here watching YouTube videos? But first, allow me to stray off topic just a bit. I want to do a quick little PSA. That's public service announcement for those of you that are... We've been dealing with this for quite a while now. For a lot of us, it's just become a daily part of life. It's almost become the norm, and most of us have gotten used to it. Obviously, I'm talking about stupid comments on YouTube. I'm not talking about just my videos. I'm talking about any video on YouTube. If, if you use YouTube at all and you go and you read any of the comments, you will see that the comment sections on YouTube have become a literal zoo for idiots, morons, and crybabies. It's like a pandemic of stupid. But people, we can put an end to it. It starts with you. All you need to do is one day per week, make it a point to leave one nice, kind, thoughtful, intelligent comment on every video you watch. Pick a day, any day, every video you watch on that day, take a moment and leave a smart, thoughtful comment. You can start with my video. Leave a comment below. Make it from the heart. Make it thoughtful, make it kind. Reply to somebody that already commented. Even if you see a stupid comment, reply. Thank them for their comment in a nice and thoughtful way. Together, the power of the people, the power from in here. We can help save YouTube from the morons, idiots, and crybabies. We can do it. We can do it. So what is legal? A lot of you probably know that in an emergency situation, the FCC will allow you to use any radio with or without a license to get help. But it has to be a life-threatening emergency and there must be no other options. So that doesn't mean that when you run out of beer or you get lost or you get a flat tire on the side of your road, doesn't mean you can pick up your Baofeng without a license and start using it to call for help, especially if your cell phone is sitting on the car seat right next to you and works perfectly well. Life-threatening situation, no other option. Then it's perfectly legal. But you will have to know how to use the radio. Don't think you're just gonna pull this out of the glove box and start pressing buttons and call 911. It doesn't work that way. So if you don't know how to actually use it, even though it might be legal in a life-threatening emergency when there's no other option, if you don't know how to use it, it's just basically a battery-powered brick. So now for the fun stuff. So there are a few things you can do that are perfectly legal using your UV5R, and they all involve receiving only. Perfectly legal to receive and listen to anything you want on this radio. Nobody can complain if you're just listening. So to be safe, especially if you're gonna be doing this with your kids, there's a couple things that might be fun to do with your kids, I'll get to those in a second. You can disable transmitting so that you can't accidentally transmit on a ham frequency. So for example, I've got mine set to a ham frequency right now, but because I've disabled transmitting, if I press the transmit button, nothing happens. You can do that pretty easily by using the Chirp software and going in and changing the programming. It's under the other tab and then under advanced settings, there's a little check mark, two little check marks. One that says allow or disallow transmitting in UHF and in VHF. And just uncheck both of those, save the settings back to the radio. And you basically now have turned this into a receive only scanner type radio. You will need a programming cable, cost about 20 bucks. I'll put a link below. And if you don't know how to use Chirp, I did a video a while back. 
you can watch it there. So on to the fun stuff. So the number one first thing you can do, completely legal, with your UV5R, is you can listen to FM radio. If you press the little orange button on the side, tap it, don't press and hold it. If you press and hold it, it's going to set off an alarm. Don't do that. Tap it, and you can listen to FM radio. You won't learn from those who even have evil motives when they talk to you. So I can listen to my daily gospels on FM radio, regular FM, just like a, a radio in your car. I can catch up on what Zenu is doing and how much money he's made that day. Number two, you can listen to NOAA channels. NOAA, the National uh, Oceanic Weather you can listen to the weather alerts. There's seven NOAA channels that are broadcast nationwide, give, and they give weather reports for the all different areas. But some people will ask, but how do I know what frequency to put in? Google it. Type it into your Google machine. You'll get 10,000 pages all telling you what frequencies to put in. But because I'm so nice... I will list them in the information section below. You put each one in. It's easiest if you do it in Chirp. You can save it on different channels, and then you can set the radio to scan through those by pressing the scan button, which is the star button. So it will then scan through all the channels, and every time it picks up a signal, it will stop, and you can listen to it. Basically, turning the radio into a scanner. That's really what we're doing here. Number four on the list of fun things to do is you can listen to emergency services, police, fire, local businesses, hospitals, schools, jails, all kinds of places use radios, and you can listen in and scan through those frequencies and listen to them talk if they're within your range. You can't listen to everything. Some of them are digital, and you just won't be able to. The, this radio just can't pick them up. But a lot of local agencies still use regular analog radios, and you can listen in. And that can be really fun. You need to know what frequencies to put in, and you can put them in, save each one on a different channel, and then scan through it, same way as you scan on the NOAA channels. The best way to find them, I'll save you the Googling, but if you go to radioreference.com, put in what area you're in, and it will show you all of the different agencies and what radio frequencies they use. You'll see the ones up in 800 and 900 megahertz. The, this radio won't be able to pick those up, but in the 100 megahertz to 400 megahertz range, and you'll see it listed right there, It'll say police department, 400 whatever, whatever megahertz. You put that frequency in and you'll be able to listen to them. Lots of fun times listening in on what's going on in the neighborhood. Number five. Listen to the astronauts on the International Space Station. Now, this can be more of a project. It's n not the kind of thing you just pick up and start listening. You need to know when the space station will be overhead. And even though it's, I don't know, thousands of miles, hundreds of miles, dozens of miles, because it's a direct line of sight, a lot of times you can hear them. They will have scheduled conversations on ham frequencies from the space station to ham operators that you can listen in on and other just regular communications you can just listen in on. It'd be a fun project for you and the kids. If you're in a really busy like suburban area where there's a lot of radio frequency interference, you might have to build a little antenna that is more directional and you can do that for just a couple of bucks and all by hand. There's whole websites and YouTube channels dedicated to how you can listen to the astronauts on one of these radios or any type radio. But you'll need the schedule. You'll need to know when it flies over. It's all available online. It can be a really fun project for you or you and the kids. That's it. There's really not a whole lot else you can do with one of these things legally. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Stupid questions will be pinned at the top for everybody to marvel at. But because we're all trying to make YouTube a better place, including myself, it starts with me. I will leave a kind and gentle reply thanking you for your comment no matter how stupid it is. If you see stupid comments, take a moment, reply nicely and kindly. Let's all make YouTube a better place. Let's make it a better place. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the trail.